good team. We, we got to be better than we were tonight in order to compete with them. They, uh, they're they good everywhere. They don't have many weak links. Front court kind of overwhelmed us a little bit. You know, our, I thought some of our guards played well. You know, Shaq, when we got to go in there in the second half, those guys competed hard, but you know, we, we got to do a better job. We gave way too many points to transition. Gave, you know, had us for 27 points. We gave up in transition. We gave them 31 at the line. Give up almost 60 points and transition at the free throw line. You're going to have a hard time winning games. So transition D's got to get better. You got to learn how to guard without fouling. And you know, we just, we got to get a little bit better. So the better we are right now, we, uh, we're going to keep working to see if we can make some improvements before March. Thanks, Coach. Let's go ahead and take some questions. Uh, Max, go ahead. Let's get started. Yeah, Coach, what did you just see from – you talked a lot. You can't maybe judge based on, like, just stats alone, but what did you see from the effort and motivation you saw from your players tonight? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't as good as it was against uh, Baylor, to be honest with you. I thought some of the guys competed and played hard, but was wasn't wasn't quite where it was against Baylor. I thought we saw it at times – but not for the full 40. And, you know, we we, we, jumped, we came out, we got up, I think, four. Maybe it was 12 to eight. I thought we were doing a good job. I thought we forced them into some tough shots. And we had too many possessions where we didn't sprint back on defense. It gave them easy buckets and transition. I think at the half, they had 18 transition points. They finished the game with 27. Like, if you're playing as hard as you can play, you're not giving that many points up in transition. So what wasn't I – mean, it wasn't as bad as it's been at – Georgia, Missouri, some of those games where it wasn't wasn't good enough to beat the number one team in the country, that's for sure. Austin Hannon. Hey, Coach. You haven't really talked about it yet, but Auburn shot 39 free throws. Uh, did, did you think there was an issue with the officiating at all? I saw you kind of get on the rest a good bit tonight. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to get them to match some calls in the end. I mean, you know, obviously the intensity of the game, you'd like to – I thought there was a few drives that we had that they could have called some fouls on that they, on the other end, they called them. But our, our guys got to learn how to play defense without fouling. And, and, you know, we thought we settled for too many kind of mid-range, not at the rim twos, which, you know, a few times we got fouled going around and didn't get called, but it, that, that, that wasn't what decided the game here tonight. Michael Cascarada, go ahead. Yeah, you guys cut up to two. Uh, early in the second half, I think a 12-2 run. Uh, you know, what was working at that point and then what, what went wrong from that point where they took a, a big run? Yeah, I, you know, Quinterly got downhill to the rim. You know, he was – obviously came out of the second half playing great. Thought our, our defensive energy was good. We got some stops. Then we, you know, kind of had to go to the bench a little bit. Uh, some guys got tired. I think, you know, I – Maybe left some guys in open, stay on the run, and went to the bench. It wasn't quite the same energy as we had had in there, and we, we couldn't get stops. And you, you know, we took we had some turnovers and took, took a couple bad shots in there too when they kind of went on their run to open it back up. But you know, I I thought our guys showed some fight there to be in the second half. I was proud of that starting group. I thought you know, JQ and Shaq, Keon, Jawan, and Charles. Charles played well for large parts of the game and then you couldn't sustain it. You can't keep those five guys on the floor all the whole time. And, you know, I thought there were some guys that came off the bench and gave us good energy too. I thought Darius, you know, played pretty good on defense. You know, we needed a little bit better offense maybe out of him. But we just ran out of some gas with some of those starting. They're deep. I mean, shoot, when Wendell Green comes off the bench, you know, he's not in the starting group. So, you know, he's – doesn't start the game. And, you know, you see he played 27 minutes, so he doesn't really come in for the first four minutes of the game, the first four minutes of the second half. After that, he's in the game most of the time. You know, they bring him off and we're, we're a little more tired and he, he kind of gives them a little spark. And we we didn't really have that uh, pop. Maybe we needed off the bench tonight. Talking a little trash on the field? Yeah, we get it. Trashing the state with litter? That's terrible. Keep it clean, keep Alabama beautiful.